Hey guys, uh, I <clears throat> purchased a Steam Slayer and uh, this is my first real uh, go around with it. Um, I did do a, a, a test run on it and uh, I did a 30 minute boil on a beer that I made a couple uh, weeks ago, but this is my first real run on it. Just coming up to a boil here, um, an IPA I made. Um, I couldn't hang the strainer the hop strainer on the side of the tank obviously because if you hang it on the side it wouldn't create um, a vacuum for the steam slayer to work i have it hard plumbed just to, from my ro system um, coming in here there's a nice little valve which inside there's a, um, a sprayer and the steam enters here when the lid is on and gets hits the sprayer and it condenses and falls into a bucket and we're going to see how this works. Let me go get my hops and we'll add the hops to it and see what's going to happen here. Okay, so here we go. First hops charge going in. All right. And got a lot of foam coming up there. Now this goes against uh, everything I've ever learned in brewing. Uh, putting a lid on your boiling beer. Okay, started the condenser. The water's coming out. Okay, I have to keep an eye on that so it doesn't overflow. Okay, so we've been boiling for a few minutes here. Um, I have the boil ke kettle set on a 60% duty cycle. Um, and it's it's boiling. It's only a 210, but I, I it's boiling rapidly in uh, in the kettle, and it's only using 60% power. I could probably bring it down to 50% power and get the same the same uh, reading. So it looks like I'm getting a little steam leakage from the uh, <clears throat> between the lid and the pot. In the kettle, uh, I grabbed the first two things I could find that was heavy enough uh, to sit on top there and try to get it to uh, stop leaking and and so the vacuum maintains um, the temperature of the water coming out of here. Now this isn't accurate; it's infrared thermometer, so it's saying it's about 110 degrees, something like that. Um, this tube has to be completely free and clear um, otherwise the vacuum won't maintain um, looks like the weight that I added to the, the top of the uh, lid is helping significantly with the steam <clears throat> escaping from the uh, from the side of the kettle um, the only thing that stinks is I'm gonna have to take all this stuff off when I uh, when it's time to add another hops edition um, but <clears throat> hey <clears throat> it's better than venting so Uh, it's also saving a lot of power. Um, if you think about it, this is a 5,500 watt um, element inside my boiler maker, and if it's only running at like 50, 60 percent, that's like uh, running your dryer, your uh, clothes dryer, for like a half an hour. So it's saving saving a lot of electricity. It's wasting a ton of water, though. Um, I guess this water I can use to help clean some of the uh, some of the equipment from the uh, from the mash and what have you. So uh, I have two or three buckets that I'll retain this water. It's nice and warm if it's uh, you know over a hundred degrees or so. You still see the steam is just escaping out of here. So to come up with a solution for that, maybe a silicone gasket around the kettle or something. But I'm also praying that this doesn't uh, this gets rid of all the DMS. Um, I don't know. I, I was told by Bobby at Brew Hardware that uh, it it gets rid of the DMS. So I uh, hope it's hope he's right. We'll see. Um, you know, when you buy this, there's a disclaimer on their website that uh, you are a beta tester when you are purchasing this item. So these are just some of the uh, issues that I'm coming up with within the first 10 minutes or so of using it. So. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll work out.